how to convert Figma design to HTML and CSS. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you guys how you will be able to convert any Figma design that you have into an HTML and CSS that you could then, you know, use on your Visual Studio Code or when you're creating or you're ready to turn your design into a website. And so we're currently in figma.com over here right now. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to check out the specific design that you want to convert into an HTML code. Now there are requirements with the method that I'm going to be showing you guys. And one of those requirements is that ensuring that your design is using auto layout or it is currently on auto layout. The auto layout is like one of the requirements to ensuring that the design that you will be uh, creating or converting is something that will easily be converted. Now, there are methods in Figma itself that would allow you to convert your design into HTML. For example, this one, I selected my uh, sign up page over here and I could simply click on this dev mode over here on the top right. Enabling this would allow me to inspect a specific or different sections of our design. And as you can see here, uh, we should be able to uh, view CSS and HTML or different types of codes in this section. But uh, this is for people with plan. So that is not something we could play around with just yet. So. Uh, since I'm a free user or I'm someone who doesn't have really budget to subscribe for a plan in Figma, we're going to be using a plugin that also does the same and also has more features than a traditional simple converting. So uh, to get started, simply click on resources or simply press shift plus I and this pop-up will appear. Simply search for teleport. HQ, which is a plugin that we could use inside Figma, as you can see here. And this is basically a platform that would allow us to convert our uh, code or a specific frame into uh, HTML and CSS. So that's basically the description of this extension. Uh, before we get started here, though, I would suggest that you visit Teleport HQ beforehand and create uh, an account, which would lessen your time setting things up inside of Figma itself. So make sure that you create an account in Figma or rather teleporthq.com. And after you created an account, sign up an account and log in, all of those things, uh, visit this again and view this. So uh, right now, as you can see, the first instruction is to select one or multiple objects to get started. Optimal outputs or outcomes can be achieved by choosing a design in a step-by-step -step manner. So. Uh, what it is suggesting is that you select a frame one by one and not uh, selecting a lot in one go. So what I'm going to be choosing is this one over here. Now as you can see, there will be a rating and right now this is called excellent. Now depending on the design, as you can see, it's going to say whether the layout is bad and because uh, right now auto layout is not enabled, it's going to be bad and when you export it, and turn it into HTML and CSS, the design will be very different from your uh, Figma design. So there will be some movements, uh, the placement of different elements will be different, and all of those things. So enabling auto layout, although you're going to have to change a lot of things on your design, auto layout or having auto layout is very important to ensuring that the exportation is very proper and you won't face any issues later on. So, we selected the specific frame that I want to edit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on export as a new project. As you can see, there we go. It basically copied all the elements present over here from the photos to the font and different elements. If you have more photos, it's going to copy those out as well. And over here, I'm first going to log into my teleport HQ. So I'll be right back. And there I'm currently logged in. So uh, I'm reaching a project limit. So I'm going to delete one of this for now. I want to delete, delete, there we go. And I'm going to do it again. Uh, start over. 
export as a new project. Uh, there we go. We will be redirected. Now, the downside in Teleport HQ is that uh, for the free version, you could only have one project. So, uh, either you do it one by one and every now and then you're going to delete the previous project that you had until you successfully exported all the different frames that you want to export. So that's one of the downside with this. But the great upside is, of course, it's free. And as you can see, we have our section over here. Now, you might be wondering, why is it different? It's not exactly the same. Well, of course, it's not exactly the same because this is the appearance for a laptop. So one of the great things about this is that you will be able to convert your designs into other platforms as well. So as you can see here, we have our design. We're just going to uh, move stuff around a bit. Uh, you're just going to like uh, move things. Uh, there we go. Because of course, it's not going to be a perfect, perfect conversion. So there we go. So now we have a design on our Teleport HQ, which is of course, as you can see, very uh, similar with this one or almost exactly the same. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on code over here on the top right, view or download generated code. So over here, code. And there we go. You will be able to see the different code uh, being used to uh, generate the specific design right now, as you can see this layout. So you could also modify it inside of this Teleport HQ. The Teleport HQ also allows you to uh, change things here and there. Uh, you could change uh, like the design, you could move stuff around, you could add more stuff, all of those things. So uh, we could view the code, you could check out the source code over here, the style CSS as you can see. This is our CSS. Uh, you have your uh, JavaScript over here. And you have here your HTML as well as you can see. So that's basically it. You can easily copy and paste this on your VS Code. Of course, uh, you could download it as well. You could uh, download it as a React, a Next, View, or other type of code as well. Uh, it's a bit important that you download this because, of course, there are elements like, for example, this photo over here. Uh, if you simply copy and pasted it in your VS Code, it's going to look for that photo, but you don't have it. So you're going to have to really download it. So uh, you can just explore this platform on your own. Uh, this is a very simple platform to manage. So uh, I doubt that you guys would get confused on how to use this platform. So that's basically it, guys. That is a very easy way and a very simple way to convert your Figma design into CSS. Now, if you have any question, feel free to comment down below. And that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.